In this lesson, I want to explain the simulation tools and its properties. It's very important before we uh, going in depth in the tools because uh, we use a lot of simulation and you have to know its properties and what's happening in simulation. Okay. As you learned, we can go in here and we can simply draw our uh, pattern here and we are uh, it's appearing in the 3D. In this gizmo, I will be explaining more of the gizmo, but you can rotate it in any direction that you want and place it in a 3D view. For example, I uh, rotate it here and place it there and rotate it more to explain the simulation to you. <clears throat> okay, you can draw another a bigger one and assign another um, uh, fabric then simply click and drag on that or rotate it again bring it up mm, that's nice I want to simulate it for you okay as you can see we have a big line uh, uh, pattern to simulation okay we have three presets, main presets for simulation fast. Do this strategy. If we have a very close, very long and big project, very swimming happening, anything very dense project, first you use the fast GPU. When you use a normal, for example, we are going to the 3D mode. Hit the space to simulation. As you can see, it's a little slow. What's nice, but a little slow. Okay, Ctrl Z to bring it back. Mm, the best simulation is normal. It's in a CPU. These three simulation are based on a CPU. The CPU is better quality. Fitting accurate fabric. Hit the space. <clears throat> As you can see, it's very more quality when the uh, simulation happen when uh, we have a more quality self uh, collision of the cloth and collision of the with avatar and the cloth and two our uh, two cloths to each other but it's very slow and dense better quality if you uh, want to better quality use that but for example i bring it a little up Mm, I want to do it like this. Okay, first using the fast GPU for sewing our patterns together and simulating fast. Hit a space. As you can see, it's uh, collision to each other, and as you can see, it's a very bad quality, but it's very fast. And after that, using the fitting in the space to correct that those issues. Okay. Hold it there. As you can see, it's you can with holding and click and drag in a simulation to move your classes. If anywhere uh, you happen uh, issues, just simply click and drag to re-simulate that part. As you can see, it's a better, nice and quality in fitting. Okay, use this strategy. You can click on this icon again or hit a space. It's a better shortcut for it. This is a better uh, a strategy for assuming your uh, project. If you have a powerful system, you can go in and the first fitting accurate. But I usually use a normal. It's a normal. Okay, Ctrl Z to bring it back again. Okay. So use this strategy when you want to using. This is a default. As you can see, it's not very good and accurate, but it's nice. Okay. So we have three main simulation here. You can click on them and, and choose them. It's a default. Hit a space. Okay. 
Forest properties is very important. You can tree, you can access the properties in two ways. First and easiest way is going to the preferences and simulation properties. This window uh, will be open here. Or you can, if you click on any patents properties app here, you can go to the scene manager here in environment. Environment means the simulation, winds, light. I've explained it. But here we have a simulation properties again, and you can access the simulation here. With this icon, you can maximize your window here, and I will explain more. <clears throat> As you can see, in this simulation properties, we have more and important uh, preset that is animation. If you uh, bring an uh, FBX that has an animation in your project, please use animation, a stable, best mode. We have a lot of properties and sitting here that uh, any preset change them. For example, if you using the, f uh, we have a normal, those sitting will be appear here. <coughs> Look at, if we uh, select a fast GPU, a lot of settings will be turned off because we need fast, but not very quality simulation, fasting simulation. If your system is not very strong, and as you can see, this GPU simulation is turned on. If you go into the normal, the GPU simulation turn off. And also linear, simul uh, linear simulation turn off. Those settings are making the, these settings will make the quality of the simulation, non-linear simulation if on. If you're going to the, for example, animation, I'll turn on and sitting, if you're going fitting, this is the best quality of simulation. If you, um, <clears throat> your system is powerful, you can use this uh, for animation also. As you can see, the non-simulation is on and a lots of settings will turn on. Or if you can use the custom and change those settings and uh, save it as your preset. Okay, I explained the most important part here, the uh, time steps. Don't change that, it's very important. It is an, uh, a step simulation in a time. The lower number is, means better quality. The number of simulations, very straightforward. If you want to more simulation at one frame, for example, you can increase that number. If you go into the fitting, as you can see, it's a five, it's better quality. This, even, uh, this is an important CG finish condition. It's not uh, computer graphic, it is uh, it means a mathematical uh, simulation and mathematical function means uh, conjugate gradients. Okay, it's a mathematical uh, properties behind that. CG finish condition, we have two important modes. Iteration, when you select an iteration, uh, you can change the iteration count, for example, 50. It means it uh, <clears throat> calculate the uh, and iterate simulation fifty time and doing 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 and then finish. But it's not good. But for example, your uh, it's maybe your pattern will be moving and we need more simulation. But it stopped it. But it is very fast. The better mode is residual. The residual. When you select the residual, you can change the CG residual number here. It means it's end the simulation when the clouds calm down. And it is better because we need, to, for example, you have a clouds that are falling to each other, colliding, colliding, and colliding. And we need simulation, simulation. It will simulate till your clouds calm down. It's very good because it's in a fitting turn on here. And self collision iteration, as you can see, if the cloud sells to each uh, itself, you can, for example, uh, this is self collision. See, this is a self collision quality. You can change it. <coughs> Simulation properties. You can change the count there. If you want more quality, bring it up. But it is very heavy to calculate. Air damping, you can increase or decrease, for example, if you're simulating a cloud on the water, you can uh, change the friction between clouds and air. 
important part is gravity. Negative 98 double zero is the number of that gravity. If you set it, if, if you set it to the zero, don't uh, worry about that preset to our set, but it's in the custom. If we set it in a zero and hit a simulation, as you can see, we are in a zero gravity. It's uh, sometimes interesting. But if you negative, you can make the negative gravity fall down as a, in a real world. You can change the gravity if you want. The number is negative 98 double zero. Sweep and fall down in a like a real world. <clears throat> it's important if you have a limit a limitation a limitation to use of your CPU, you can change the number of CPU in use here. Click to identify. Nonlinear simulation is a high quality of simulation. It's in a turn on the fitting. If you are using GPU, you can turn on the GPU. If you turn it on, all of its sitting will be turned off. Ground simulation, ground collapsing. This is this is a ground collision. The object collision to the ground. You can change the height. Zero means exactly collide at the zero of, of the uh, ground. You can turn it off. If you turn it off, it will fall down to the infinite. Don't turn it off. Uh, th these are very uh, complex settings, but when they turn on, we have the best quality of the uh, collision. Avatar and the class collision detection. It means it detects the mesh of the avatar, triangle of the avatar, with the vertex of the classes. And it's best quality. And self collision detection. For example, in this situation, we have a self collision of the uh, cloth. You can detect the triangle and vertex edge to edge of that cloth. So avoidance and stiffness don't change that number. The proximity detection, it means when the clauses, when two clauses are uh, approaching to each other or closing to each other, which method it's with detection them. The vertex to the triangle of them, edge to edge on the vertex to vertex on them, don't be changing. Just when you turn it out, we have better quality simulation, but it's very heavy to calculate. If you want to you, you, if increase the uh, intersection resolution, you can turn it on. If you are going to the fast, you can turn it off. And here's the most important thing, layer-based collision detection. For example, we draw a t-shirt on an avatar and after that we, we, are, we want to wear a coat over that t-shirt and avatar. So we have two layer for uh, our uh, closing system. When you select the, you can uh, refresh that layer here. When you select any, I'm oh, sorry, going to the selection. When you select any pattern, for example, here, you can change the layer in its property zero. If you want to wear about that uh, pattern, you can make it a layer number one. Okay, I will explain that. In its properties, you can turn it on if you want. Okay, this is simulation properties. It's very important, you know. It's very simple and straightforward. Here you can specify most three, really, most three uh, presets of that simulation. When you go into fast GPU, it's normal between fast and best quality. I will use often normal. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.